Okay, now what we're going to do is we've got to mark a bit of wood up, so we're going to plane it down to be roughly 62 mil squared. So 70 mil now. We're going to mark it 62 mil. Two. Straight edge down there. Flip it over, do the same on the other side. Okay, if you've got a table saw, you can also push this through a table saw to cut it down. It'd probably be a lot easier. I do have a table saw, but not everybody does. So I'm gonna do it with a planer, um, and so you can see what it's like. So uh, to stop this bit of wood moving, I might just screw a block into the end of the table, and, um, and that way when I'm pushing down, I'm not gonna slide my bit of timber with it. Now, I reckon that is spot on the line on both sides. Pretty good. Might just turn it down now. That, that was set at two mil per pass, which is quite a lot. I might just turn it down to nearly half a mil. I might do one or two more passes. Of We've got to do the same on this edge. And 63. That's spot on. All right. Now, let me do some cleaning, and we'll get back to the next thing, which is cutting the corners of the bit of wood off, so we can slide it inside our pole. Now that we've thickened down a bit of timber, we want to fit it to a nice snug fit inside our PVC pipe. So. First thing we're going to do is give it a shot, see how it fits. Now it just goes in, but that's probably too tight because if it's too tight, once we press all the different parts on, it's going to be quite hard to get out. So we're going to get the planer and we're just going to take one tiny little pass off each corner and so it will just make it so we can slide it in and out nice and easily without having to put any extra force on it. So I'm gonna turn the plane down to quite a small cut. Go the other way, because I'm right-handed. Now most planes have a little groove in the center, which is nice and easy to line up on the corner of the bit of wood. So you don't have to worry about trying to get all lined up. So just Pop it in that groove there, and make sure you're on quite a small, you're better off doing a couple of small passes and testing in between than doing one big cut and making it too loose. All right. Now that one dropped into the groove just in the middle there, you probably see the little step, but it's not a drama because when it's in the, the pipe, it'll all average itself out. So it's not like that bit can go any deeper than the other bit. It takes an average of the whole length. So it doesn't have to be too spot on. It's more that it's just got to be roughly the right size. Because the crucial size is the 62 by 62. And now you can see, sliding in a lot easier. You move it around so that's all spot on. Now you only need one of these because we're going to use the same one on both poles. So now that's done. 
The next stage is cutting our spigots that we're going to start to mould onto the pipe. So the next stage is cutting our spigots. So our spigots are the bits that actually hold the net pots or the plants off the side of the actual tower. It's a 40mm PVC pipe and it's cut on a 45 degree angle. Now the easiest way to do this is we mark 55mm from the blade and put a mark on the saw like I've done here and then Get a block of wood and clamp it on that 55 millimeter mark. Now every time we're going to be putting the PVC pipe up against the end of that block and then we're going to keep rotating between a 45 degree cut and then a square 90 degree cut. 45, 90, 45, 90 and we'll do that over and over again until we've cut all the pieces out of this. Now it is a lot easier again the printing that's on the pipe if we get our old worn out sponge again and clean that off now it's a lot easier to do it now while it's in one long piece than when you've cut it up into all the little pieces and you're trying to sand them. So it depends how pedantic you are and how pretty you want it to look in the end but for a little bit of work now, gives a lot nicer finished product. Okay, safety glasses on, pencils out, I'll do some cutting. First cut at 45. to hold it nice and still and don't rotate it at all while you're cutting and sometimes because now you've got a little piece of PVC left in the saw between the block of wood and the blade you can actually stop the blade while it's still down and then once it's stopped lift it up take the piece out otherwise sometimes it can jam in there bite and ping out Our first spigot. So the next one, we've got to put our saw back to square, to zero, put our PVC pipe in with the end touching. Now don't have it flat so the point is right in the end because sometimes it can slip behind it like a wood. So if you just rotate it a little bit, you'll get that end off the, the pointy end off the flat edge and it'll sit more flat on the end of your... because we're doing a square cut, doesn't matter how it's rotated. And cut that off. Now the more important cuts are the 45 degree cuts because that's the flat edge that's actually going to be sitting up against our PVC pipe so you want that to be quite a nice cut it's quite easy to cut the the square they come out all nice so just um, yeah the big trick is not to spin the pipe while you're cutting it six seven so far so I'll cut the rest of them now and um, yeah we'll carry on from there Now another little trick you can do, if you want to make it a bit quicker, is you can work both ends of your PVC at the same time. So 45 this side, 45 that side, then put it to zero and do zero both sides. Another little thing to keep an eye on, just make sure that your block doesn't slip. Every time you slide it in and give it a tap, it might just be nudging over. 
Doesn't make a huge difference, it just makes the spigot stand out slightly longer on your pole. Okay, now we've got our 20 spigots. We can move on to the next stage, which is molding them onto the tower.